Um, I'm about to make a new Young Link matchup chart. I haven't made a matchup chart since the very beginning of quarantine, which is like five, six months ago. So I think we're due for a new one. We hit the sub goal for it today, uh, which is dope. Uh, so yeah, man, I think we're due for a new one. Give me just one second real quick. I'm going to, uh, I need some chapstick. My lips are chapped as hell. Uh, and then we're going to be good. Then we're going to be good. Give me one second. <laughs> Take a sip of water. Turn on my YouTube voice. You feel me? Don't make fun of me, chat. Don't make fun of me, chat. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? My name is Colonies, and I'm coming to you live from Twitch TV today. But you're watching this on YouTube. This is my new Young Link matchup chart. Uh, the last one I made was at the very beginning of quarantine. And in my five keys for Young Link uh, video, I told you guys that I was going to be making a new matchup chart soon. And uh, here we are today, man. So... We're going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, I appreciate you guys all for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you want more content. And uh, let's do it. You like that? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. I don't know what else. I, I always do. I always hit him with the yo, yo, yo. I always hit him with the yo, yo, yo. All right. As always, the Young Link's here. Call anyone sit. You know the vibes. All right, let's put the young man himself right there. Okay, let's turn on our thinking caps, boys. Well, let's start up here, I guess. Alf. So, I did get absolutely smoked by uh, by Busby's Alf the other day. Um, I, I don't have too much experience in this matchup, but if I had to if I had to put it somewhere, I think I would put this one in even. To be honest, it seems like. Uh, Yo, this is gonna be a long video. I, when people do matchup chart, ooh, this is my jam. When people do matchup charts, they usually like explain most of the shit. Cause it's gonna be a long ass video. I guess it. I, I'll just try to explain what I can. But yeah, I think I don't know. This matchup is kind of weird because it's like Almar does a good job of keeping people out. He does a really good job. Like Purple Pikmin is really good at uh, at clanking with projectiles, and it can give Young Link a hard time to get his shit started. Um. But at the same time, Young Link does have to do a good job of like stopping Olimar from having that free pressure because uh, boomerangs and fire arrows kind of clank with most of the other Pikmin that aren't purple ones. Or, well, not clank them, but they beat them. Uh, so I'm going to put this one in even. A little more experience is needed for me to have a definitive opinion, but for now, we're going to put that even. Banjo and Kazooie. I'm going to put Banjo in even as well. This is kind of an even match or tough matchup on both sides. Banjo's grenades and uh, pellets, or whatever the fuck, the eggs, they do a really, really good job at, at not letting Young Link put on a lot of, of projectile pressure from across the stage. Um, and then Wonder Wing is really good at catching Young Link mashing, and it kills him mad early. Um, but on the other side of the coin, Young Link is so much faster than Banjo and has a lot better frame data that if you do get at like a close range with Banjo, it can be really tough for him to, uh, to deal with you kind of like running around all over him. So, I, I'm going to put this one in even. I've played this matchup a lot with Hack. Um, personally, I don't think Hack plays uh, enough, or like, I don't think he plays campy enough against Young Link. I think, even though we always make the joke that Hack is a big camper, um, which he kind of is, but he doesn't play campy enough against Young Link to really show how hard the matchup can be. But, yeah, I'm going to put that one in even. <clears throat> Bayonetta. You know what's funny about Bayonetta, dude? Every Bayonetta player always puts Young Link as like one of her worst matchups, if not her worst matchup. Um, in my opinion, I think it's 55-45 because here's the reason why. The main difference, the main reason, the main reason that Young Link gives Bayonetta so much trouble is because uh, his damage output is just ridiculous and he doesn't really have enough lag for her to be able to punish him out of shield a lot. And he does a good job of keeping her out. But the thing I think people underestimate in the Bayo Young Link matchup is how good she is off stage. And uh, you're going to hear a common theme throughout this whole... Um, you're going to hear a common theme throughout this whole time is like... If a character does good, does well at, at gimping Young Link, they can give him a lot of trouble. Uh, his, his recovery is very exploitable. Bayo has good tools to be able to take your jump. And then Nair, or Up Air, like the held down versions, um, they can just stuff out his up B, not much he can really do about it. 
Uh, Witch Time can give you a little bit of trouble if you're fishing for, like, projectiles up close. Smash Up can be a little tough, but the difference in kill power and the difference in damage uh, output definitely makes this Young Link advantage. Bowser! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I <laughs> low-key want to give a hot take on this one, dude. Low-key want to give a hot take on this one. You know what, man? I'm giving a hot take. This matchup is fucking even, man. This matchup is fucking even, dude. It's even. All right? And let me tell you why. Okay? Shout out to Coconut Mall. Let me tell you why. This matchup is even, all right? This this character, Bowser, this matchup is 6-4 Young Link or 55-45 Young Link if you play absolutely perfectly. You have to play super well, right? And it's possible. Sometimes you're going to play super well, or if you're a lot better than the Bowser player, then it's a really free matchup. But if you're not playing perfectly, like if you're nervous in bracket, um, or you're playing against a Bowser player who's as good as you or better, it's really tough, man. Bowser has really good range. He outranges Young Link super hard. His aerials clank through his projectiles and still last out. Bowser's fair alone does a really good job at dealing with Young Link trying to like space out projectiles. Neutral B is fucking huge. Eats projectiles, does not lose to any of them. Does massive amount of damage. Up B out of shield punishes Young Link for hitting Bowser's shield with anything unless you are at the very top of his shield at which point it's pretty much impossible to hit that shit anyways. Getting close enough to Bowser to grab him is really tough because <laughs> they want you shielding right in front of them. The difference in kill disparity. I mean, Bowser, he's so heavy. It can be really tough for Young Link to kill him. Like, it's, it's either that you have to kill him with a confirm at like 100 to 120, but if he lives for a long time, he's got rage, he's fucking camping, you get hit by one neutral B trying to get in, you take fucking 40, 50 percent. I mean, shit, dude, this matchup is, I just don't get it. I just don't get, you know what I mean, man? It's like, it's tough, bro, it's tough. Uh, down smash, a super armor on that can catch Young Link, because Young Link has to get close to Bowser to really set up his kill confirms a lot of the time. Um, it's tough, bro, and then off stage too, Bowser can, uh, he, he can put in some work off stage, man. His fair off stage is, is, if Young Link doesn't have a jump, then shit, bro. So I'm just saying, and Young Link doesn't really get to play out a shield against Bowser, because Bowser never really gets close up to your shield, and if he does, then he's probably just gonna condition you to, to shield, so he gets side B. I think this matchup is kind of tough, man. Alright, Bowser Jr. I'm gonna put this one in 6-4. I think Bowser Jr. has a really tough time against Yink, man. I think he does because uh, the main reasons is like it is really, really tough for, for Bowser Jr. to get in on Young Link. He kind of has to use Koopa Car. Um, if he doesn't do like the spin out, then up B beats Koopa Car, arrow beats Koopa Car, bomb on the ground beats Koopa Car. Like there's a lot of things that give that, that, that trouble. You know, he's not super fast in the air, so Young Link can kind of like land sort of free. Um, I mean, Bowser Jr. does his thing, you know what I mean? He does his thing, and, and at times it can be scary. Uh, and he can do a good job at gimping Young Link, too. Uh, but, I mean, his projectiles are just so much worse. Not that they're terrible, but they're just so much worse. Um, I think it's a really tough matchup for Bowser Jr. Uh, he has super combo food, too, man. Young Link just, just pieces him up for days. When, Young, when Bowser Jr. doesn't have stage control, yeah, I think this is a 6-4 matchup. I'm gonna put Byleth in even. I'm gonna put Byleth in even. Um, I've played against this character probably more than a lot of other people because Sylvanas played the fuck out of Byleth for like a month straight. Cosmos was playing Byleth for a while. Shit, even I was playing Byleth. This matchup can be tough, man. She keeps you out really, really well. She controls the pace of the game really well. Her range is really good. Side B off stage is, is, is trouble. Um, her up air is so disjointed that it makes Young Link trying to land really, really tough. Uh, really tough. Up smash out of shield, which I think is probably the most underutilized move by all the buy lists. Up smash out of shield is broken, broken, crazy good. And it makes Young Link not as safe on shield as he is typically. Um, it, this is, can be a tough matchup. And then don't even get me started on there. Nair, I mean, shit, I'm trying to spam projectiles at Byleth from across stage. She's slow, but Nair just eats right through that shit. Always combos. Pretty much always combos. Yeah, man. Uh, I I'm put that one even. Captain Falcon. Oh, boy. This is, uh, this is an interesting one. I 
I don't have a lot of experience, but in my experience, I'm going to put this one in even as well. I know we got a lot of even matchups to start off here. Uh, Falcon, so fast. So fast in the air. Devastating punish game that he is really, really tough to, like, wall out. Young Link has a really hard time walling Falcon out. And then another big factor that I think pushes this one into even, I think if this wasn't a thing, then maybe 55-45, uh, but Young Link actually has a really hard time comboing Falcon uh, at kill percent. It's really tough to land kill confirms. Uh, down tilt to up B, he falls right through it. The down tilt to fair is just pretty slow, and uh, a lot of times because he is a fast faller and fast fallers are weird in this game, uh, it's, it's very hard to hit down tilt combos on him. Um, I just think his speed is the main thing, though. He's so fast that it, it's it's not too hard for him to get in versus Young Link. Uh, why does he fall out? He falls out just because, I don't know, man. Fast Fallers, Fox, Falco, I don't know. Or Fox, uh, Falcon, I don't know why they fall out. It, it's pretty annoying. So Krom was 6-4 was in my last matchup chart. I'm actually going to... I think I'm going to keep Krom there. I'm going to make a bit of a hot take here, but I'm going to keep Krom in 6-4, and I'm going to put Roy at 55-45. And, and here's why, all right? Here's why. I know this is kind of weird, but I'll explain. I think it'll make sense. The main reason why Krom does better against Young Link than Roy is just because of the lack of the Sour Spot range. He has access to his full range, and that basically makes it so that Young, so that he doesn't have to be as close to Young Link as Roy does. And that little difference actually makes a, a, a huge, a huge deal. Because it basically means that things are not as safe on Krom's shield. A lot of places where Roy is not able to punish you out of shield, like especially with back air, because he would just get sweet spot, probably wouldn't be safe, or sour spot, probably wouldn't be safe on hit. Um, Krom is actually able to punish you in that area. Uh, his, you know, his speed mixed with his range, uh, it's tough for all the same reasons Roy is, but, but that range actually does make a huge difference. Um, Young Link does an okay job at gimping up B, but he doesn't have a counter. It's, it's not something that's a really big X factor, but he does a much better job at gimping Roy because Roy has to go at a very obvious angle that Bomb really kind of fucks up, gives it a lot of trouble. Personally, I think, uh, I think Krom is 6'4", six, six his favor. I think Roy is 55'45". So I know it's a little weird, but, but yeah, this is free. I mean, this is free. You guys probably aren't surprised. Uh, Cloud gives Young Link many many problems many many problems uh cloud speed just like we talked about with 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 uh with Krom, cloud speed plus his range and i mean his range is even crazier uh it's it's extremely difficult to deal with up the out of shield basically makes it really hard to ever pressure him his aerials tear through your projectiles while he's getting in on you at the same time um it's a really fucking tough matchup for young link man his range basically makes it so that it's it's almost impossible to punish him out of shield as young link like you're really he's he doesn't have to get close enough to you for you to be able to nair he doesn't have to get close enough to you to be able to uh, for you to be able to up b out of shield if you try to do either of those things after he hits your shield you're probably just going to get up beat out of shield yourself and don't even get me started at being in the air against cloud he's so fast in the air he has so much range back air Trying to land against Cloud as Young Link with back air is just fucking, is, is tough as hell. Um, definitely one of Young Link's hardest matchups. Uh, pretty free, or definitely probably his hardest matchup. Pretty free in my opinion. This is tough, man. This is tough. I'm going to put this at 45-55 for now. Uh, that, that's how I feel about it now. You think Roy is harder for Yink than Krom? Yeah, I just disagree, Pro Nerdy. Um, as somebody who has fought Toast a lot with Roy... Toast really showed me how to play that matchup as Young Link and how to abuse Roy's lack of range against Young Link. And, and that kind of shifted my opinion. Um, all right, on the Corrin. So Corrin, kind of tough for a lot of the same reasons that, that these guys are. Really good range. Um, she's not very fast, but her range is nutty. Absolutely crazy, man. Um, <laughs> fucking up air. I mean, Young Link... One of his biggest issues is definitely getting juggled, and Corian is amazing at juggling him. Her up air and her back air are basically even better than, Cl than Cloud's at, at, at keeping him in the air, making it really, really tough. And then even if you do get back to the ledge, because you don't want to land on stage, because you're probably just going to get grabbed or pins, 
even if you do make it back to the ledge, uh, you might just get too framed with side B. Now, also, I play against Cosmos, so obviously there's a little bit of bias in, in terms of, like, the level of Corrin that I play against compared to other people, but the other young links that have played against Corrin's, uh, especially Cosmos, I, I'm curious what they think, but in my opinion, this is going to take a little more time for me to have, like, a thorough thought process on this, but my my instincts tell me that this is probably 45-55, slight Corrin favor. Definitely not unwinnable by any means. All right, Daisy. Um, one of Young Link's better top tier matchups. One of Young Link's better top tier matchups. I think this is slight Young Link favor. You gotta play it well though. You gotta play it well. You gotta go in with a game plan because if you try to get too close to Daisy's face and you don't do safe shit, you're gonna get down till you're gonna get rocked for like 50, 60 percent. If you get put off stage without a jump, Toad is super strong. Have you guys noticed how strong? Daisy's and Peach's counters are in this game. It's kind of nuts, dude. It's kind of fucking nuts. Um, wait, chat. Should I put Daisy or should I put Peach for 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 the for Paisy? Which one? Which one? What, what team are you guys on? Which one should I put? But yeah, her counter is fucking crazy strong. But Peach's entire neutral game is all about bait and punish, and Young Link is basically able to always kind of run away from her float bait and punish game and be putting on pressure with projectiles. He combos her extremely hard. Um, he can keep her out really well. And it, it, overall, it's just a, it's a tough matchup for, for Peach and Daisy because she just can't really get in like she can against other characters. And Young Link doesn't have to worry about her BS as quite as much. Uh, he doesn't have to fight her up close and he does a good job of keeping her out. So I think this is a slight Young Link favor. Definitely, I think Daisy, in my opinion, Daisy and Peach is a, uh, all right, it looks like Daisy, you guys are going with Daisy, all right. Looks like, uh, in my opinion, Daisy is probably um, a top five character in this game. So that's a really, really good matchup to have under our belt. All right, Dark Pit. Dark Pit. I'm gonna put this in even. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put Dark Pit and Pit in even. Um, their buffs definitely helped a lot because his punish game is is kind of nasty. Like it was already pretty nasty, but it's even better now. And uh, I can't find Pit. Where's Pit? But yeah, I think uh, I think Dark Pit is is kind of a tough matchup for for Young Link, man, because um, his his ability his disjointed aerials give him the ability to be able to still get in on Young Link, even if you're trying to wall him out with projectiles. And his advantage state against Young Link honestly rivals Young Link's advantage state against him. And now with the new downbeat buffs, it's a little bit it's even harder to kind of like take advantage of him uh, being in disadvantage state. Uh, Side B, I mean, if he just gets a read with side B, he could just fucking murder you, or he could reflect your shit. Down B reflects your shit as well on the ground. Um, he does a good job of juggling you. He's got multiple jumps. He's good off stage. Uh, I, I think this is an even matchup. With all that being said, though, I mean, Young Link still does his thing against Dark Pit. It's nothing crazy, but I think it's an even matchup. But it, it's it, it might be a little tough than a little tougher than people might know. Um, yo, why can I not find Pit? Why can I not find Pit? Oh yeah, this is a banger too, by the way. The fuck is Pit? Why am I so blind? I've looked like 20 times, I cannot find him. I'm going one by one, dude. Literally going one by one. I'm literally going one by one. I do not see Pit, bro. Wait. I do not see him. Next to Piranha Plant? Wait, where's Piranha Plant? I don't see him either. Bro, what? What the fuck? Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know why, bro. I, <laughs> I don't know why, bro. I was struggling. I'm gonna put this in slight Young Link advantage. I'm gonna put this in slight Young Link advantage. Um, I, I used to think this matchup was even, but the more I understand Dark Samus and Samus's game plan, I kind of realized that Young Link just is able to never really let them get their game started as long as you're playing smart. Like, as long as you're not giving them free charge shots and missiles, then you can kind of always be dancing around, jumping over them, putting on projectile pressure while they're still in lag from doing theirs. Um, you know, you can kill them probably easier than they can kill you. Uh, stage control is huge against this character. If you put them in a corner and they just can't really get anything started, it's really tough for them to get out of that corner. So I think this is a slight advantage for Yink. 
I'm gonna put Diddy in not enough experience right now. I have a slight amount of experience, but I've only played a couple of sets against Diddy, man. I I, I would like to get more experience before I really have a, have an opinion on this one. Cause it, sometimes it feels hard, and sometimes it feels like he can't. If sometimes it feels like he can't get anything started because he's getting pressured from across the stage, and then sometimes it feels like I can't get in on him because he's just holding banana or like. Side B is fucking me up or whatever. I don't really know quite yet. Um, that's going to be one that's not enough experience for now. Diddy is becoming a lot more relevant as the meta progresses. So I think I'll have an opinion on him by my next chart. But for now, I'm going to try to avoid putting too many people here. But for now, Diddy's going to be one of those. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. They're going to get mad at me, man. If I don't put it in 6-4, they're going to get mad at me. Let me think about it a little bit. I'm putting it in 6-4. I'm gonna put it in 6-4. I feel pretty confident about it because in terms of character versus character, I just don't think DK has... I think Young Link shuts down DK's tools really well. <clears throat> I think most of the trouble that we run into against DK comes from the, the DK player outplaying us hard rather than um, any kind of matchup shit. I think... Young Link does a really good job of keeping DK out, combos the fuck out of him, you know, just just makes his life hell. Kills him pretty early, actually, surprisingly. Uh, it's way easier to kill DK than Bowser because it's easier to get in on DK than Bowser. Um, I, I'm going to put this one in 6-4, but, I mean, DK players have showed me that, like, they can definitely outplay hard enough. It's one of those matchups, again, where it's like if you're not playing super well, then you might just get rocked. But in terms of character versus character... I, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna put that one in 6-4. Dr. Mario. <laughs> ah, man, this is tough, dude, because Doc is low- I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but... I feel like Doc is low-key slept on, bro. I feel like he's kind of slept on. I mean, obviously he has his issues, right? Obviously he has big issues, right? But, he's a little bit slept on, man. Like, especially against Young Link, I mean, his Nair... His Nair, his weak hit Nair is busted. People don't know about that. I played against that Dr. Mario in that online tournament one time, and he awoke, he, he awakens me. He awakens me to how busted Doc's soft Nair is, which can make it really hard to get off the ledge. But in terms of matchup specific stuff, he has the cape. Cape works well for him. Um, he's good at exploiting recoveries. Pill is really good at forcing you to jump. Down B is really good at trying to catch Young Link, trying to uh, uh, either being at the ledge or, or a B at the ledge. Um, up B is so good out of shield, you know, it makes it so Young Link can't really mash on his shield too much. With all this being said, I'm gonna put it in 55-45. I still think it's slight Young Link advantage, but Doc is, uh, Doc's got some shit, man. Duck Hunt's also gonna go in not enough experience. Just not enough Duck Hunt players, man. I really don't know, because most of the Duck Hunt players I play against are, are just not as good as me. And that makes it a lot, you know, that kind of skews my perspective of the matchup, I think. But, um, in terms of, like, if I played a Duck Hunt that was my level or, or, or better than me, because I really don't know yet. Like, if I played against Raito or something, it might just completely change my opinion on the matchup. So, I'm going to put Duck Hunt in not enough experience, to be honest. Falco. Okay, Falco's an interesting one. Falco's an interesting one. I used to have him as slight losing. I'm going to put him in even. I'm going to put him in even now, but it, it's close to slight losing in my opinion. Uh, Falco, his reflector is godlike. Probably one of the best reflectors in the game. Up tilt makes it really hard for Young Link to ever get in on him. Um, but there's two main saving graces against against Falco. And up B out of shield. Up B out of shield to up air works really, really well on Falco. Um, which is really nice for killing. Young Link combos Falco a lot better than he combos... Uh, let's say, like, most of the other fast fallers, for example. I don't know quite why. I think it's just because he's a little more floaty than them. Uh, but yeah, man. I mean, Falco can definitely give you some issues. I think this is a tough matchup, but I'm going to slightly lean towards even for now. Fox. You know, I used to have Fox in 6-4. I'm going to put Fox in 45-55. Uh... I'm going to put Fox in 45-55. Toast really opened my eyes on this, man. I used to think Fox just completely shit on Young Link. Uh, nowadays, 
I'm starting to believe that, you know, the way that Young Link, Young Link is fast enough to deal with Fox's speed, it's just you have to play extremely bait and punish. But if you can, if you can punish him out of shield properly, like if your parry game is on point against Fox, you can fuck him up. Up B to up air works really well. Uh, down tilt to up B is not really on the table, unfortunately. But down tilt forward air works really well against Fox. Down tilt up air works well. And you kill Fox really early. Really, really, really early. Like, if you get an up B at 80% and you have a little bit of rage, you might just kill him. Because it's going to do like 25%. You might just kill him. So I, I think that mixed with like, you know, the innovations made in the matchup. Uh, you know, Nair being as good as it, as it is to stuff people out. Even using Zare a little bit to kind of like press him off of you. Just adding in that mix up. And you can combo him really hard off grabs too. You just gotta play super bait and punish against Fox, but um yeah man, I think uh I think this is slight slight losing for Fo for for young Link. Ganondorf, yeah, this is a 6-4 for sure, man. I mean the Ganon player, sometimes they make it happen. I've lost to fucking Matt Bro in tournament before. Uh sometimes the Ganon players are able to make it happen, man, but um, yeah, this matchup is really, really tough for Ganon, of course. I, I, I don't think I need to explain this too much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoo. For right now, for right now, I'm putting, Gren I'm putting Greninja's slight Young Link favor. For right now, in my opinion, from what I've learned about the matchup, I think I've been able to become really good at, at the matchup. Uh, just from playing against JW, playing against MKLeo's Greninja, uh, just having a lot of experience against the character, um, I think that I think that Young Link, with a bomb in his hands, holding shield, gives Greninja a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. And for whatever reason, Young Link's uh, combo game just it just works really well on, on Greninja. Like one of the few characters you can get up tilt, uh, up tilt, turn around, down tilt on, which I did against Leo. I mean, you guys saw in that set how explosive the combo game can be. Um, how early Young Link can kill him, uh, and Greninja really relies heavily on landing those dash attacks, on landing those dash grabs, and Young Link just so good at out of shield, good at keeping you, keeping a safe, safe distance away from him. Um, yeah, man, I, I think this is slight Young Link favor. We'll see if that evolves over time. Hero, okay. Hero is a matchup that I said that we, uh, we slightly lost last time. Uh, I still feel the same way, man. I still feel the same way, man. I'm curious what the other Young Link players feel, dude. It, it just feels weird putting Hero as a losing matchup, but I still feel the same way, dude. If the Hero player is fishing for Bounce, which they do a lot of times against Young Link, Bounce is extremely good against Young Link because, <laughs> because it just shuts down your entire projectile game, obviously, and creates basically a chance for him to be able to get in on you harder. Um, his range is really, really good, obviously. Um, his just, the dynamic of him being able to just fuck you up with, with his shit, uh, out of nowhere, mixed with the fact that he has bounce, mixed with the fact that he has rage, he can also turn into an extremely fast character, uh, and then side B, side B is, is really good against Young Link, in my opinion. Um, I, I think side B is really good against Young Link, because it's so fast, it's probably going to catch you at close range trying to do a projectile. You might just fucking get hit. You're going to take like 30%. Uh, this matchup is tough, man. This matchup is tough. I know it's kind of a controversial opinion because people don't think Hero is very good. But yeah, I think that matchup is tough, man. Ices, man. Ices. Now, this is a matchup that I put not enough experience last time. After having more experience, I'm going to put this matchup in even. I'm going to put this matchup in even. Um, I think it's tough for both. I think it's really tough for both because Young Link can do a really good job at separating the Ice Climbers and he can do a really good job at like keeping them keeping them away from each other, you know, being able to kill Nana while Popo is, is away from her, shit like that. He's pretty good at camping her out. You know, he doesn't have to worry about her projectile game too, or their projectile game too much. Um, but side B is really good against Young Link. You know, if you get caught mashing projectiles against uh, Ice Climber side B, you're gonna get hit. You're probably gonna get decent grabbed. You're gonna get fucked up, right? Uh, up air is super good at juggling. They're, all their aerials are just are just good at at, at catching Young Link trying to land. Um, and their aerials are crazy. Uh, mix that with uh, you know, I don't know. I think it's even. That's that's my thought.
That's my thought. I feel like Hero even Heroes even because he has balanced the range as you said, but he also doesn't have the frame data Young Link has. That is very true. Um, but the better hero players are actually really good at working around that. Um, Nair, out of shield, is a fast move. Uh, forward air doesn't really need to be fast because usually they have space to do it. Now, if Young Link is in their face, that's a little bit of a different story. But up B, out of shield, is really quick. I see a lot of heroes use that well. Has very little lag. Um, I don't know. I, I get what you're saying for sure, but I'm still tilting slight hero on that one. Ike. Ike is an interesting one. I'm putting this one in even. Um, I don't know how other young links feel about this matchup, but for me, Ike's range can give us a lot of trouble, obviously. His combo game can be really tough, and his juggle game is probably the hardest part of the matchup, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, Ike is really good at juggling. Um, but young link's ability to dance around and be hard and, sm and be small, be hard for Ike to catch, while also constantly putting out like little traps while Ike is trying to get in on you. Uh, kind of lead me to believe that this is an even matchup. I've played it a lot. Um, that, that's kind of the feeling that I get. Incineroar. I'm going to put Incineroar and not enough experience. Never have played against a good Incineroar. I've never played against one yet. I, I really haven't. I, I don't even know if I've played against an Incineroar one time in bracket. Like, I'm sure I have, but I've never remembered it. You know what I mean? I, that's going to be a not enough experience one for me. Um, Inkling, Inkling, Inkling. Slight lose at top level. That is my disclaimer, okay? A lot of people have asked me before why I think Tweak never went instant against you. Oh, no, yeah. Tweak did go Incineroar against me. I actually forgot about that. Good call. Uh, in friendlies a lot. And he would beat the fuck out of me. But I'm going to be completely honest. The difference in skill level at that time especially was just so big that, like, I learned nothing. <laughs> I learned nothing. You know what I mean, dude? I had no fucking idea what was going on. I was just getting smacked around. So I, I don't really know yet how I feel about that. If I played against this Incineroar again now, I, I think I would learn a lot more. Uh, all right, let me explain Inkling. The reason why I think Inkling is slight lose is mostly because of offstage. Offstage is extremely difficult against Inkling. Back air is, it, at times when I would play against Cosmos, it would feel like back air was literally designed to hit Young Link's up B without hitting without inkling getting hit like it felt like the move was made to gimp young link um also i mean inkling being as small as she is as fast as she is and with her low ass profile it's really hard to hit arrows it's really hard to hit boomerangs it's hard to catch her at all um a lot of times even if you do make the right play close up you're just gonna get your shit dashed under um in my opinion i know this is a little bit controversial people you know, don't really see it the way that I see it a lot of times, but I think Inkling personally is a top five character in this game. Um, at the very least top 10, at the very least top 10. But I think this matchup is really tough at top level. At lower levels, if the Inklings aren't as good at edge guarding, then it's not nearly as bad. Uh, it might even be even, maybe even slight Young Link favor, but playing against Cosmos as Inkling, I mean, there's just no, if, if you're a Young Link player and you've ever played this matchup, then you know. This shit is hard. And there's a reason why all three of Cosmos' characters are, are, are going to be in this tier right here. Because Pikachu, same fucking business, man. At top, it, it, if I'm playing at somebody that is my skill level, if I'm playing against somebody that's a little bit worse than me, Pikachu is a very, very manageable matchup. If I'm playing against a top Pikachu player, if I'm playing against Esam, if I'm playing against Cosmos, this character is crazy offstage. Absolutely fucking insane offstage. Inkling and Pikachu both, but Pikachu is might be the only character in this game that is better than Inkling offstage. Like, you know, I think Pikachu is the best character in the game. I, I think I think this matchup is really tough. Um, I'm not willing to put it in 6-4 just because Young Link does really good in neutral against Pikachu. But if you get hit by one back air, man, you're going to the dark place. <laughs> you're going to the dark place, man. We'll put Isabel on even. Put Isabel on even. Uh, Isabel's ability to pocket Boomerang, and especially Boomerang, but also Arrow, is extremely good because she uses it really well, combos off of it really well, and it does a lot of damage when she pockets it. Um, she does really well. She's good at gimping Young Link off stage. She can kind of wall him out. He can't really play mid range against her too well, um, but the, the difference in kill power, the difference in kill setups, the difference in... Um, you know, damage output, I think keeps this matchup even. 
Joker. I think Joker's a slight lose too. For a lot of the same reasons as Inkling and Pikachu. Character goes crazy off stage. Very, very difficult to deal with. Um, if you camp Joker, you can have success in this matchup. But the uh, the difference in what it takes for Young Link to beat Joker versus what it takes Joker to beat Young Link is really, 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 really a big gap. Because if you make one mistake against Arsene Joker especially, you could just be in so much trouble. If you get put off stage, it, it's, it's really tough to deal with. Um, his counter, his combo game, he's, he's just so, if a Joker player is really good, very precise, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a tough-ass matchup offline especially. Um, online, I think it's probably more even, but Joker, I think, is slight lose. I'm going to give this one a slight Young Link favor. I think Puff is good at getting in on Young Link. I think Puff is good at using her aerials to clank with his projectiles and still hit him. But I think Young Link is... The difference in... Once again, the difference in damage output... Uh, the likelihood that Young Link wins neutral compared to Jigs winning neutral... I mean, Jigs is only going to win neutral a few times to stock. Now, if they can capitalize off that off state, If they can capitalize on that off stage, that's really good. But she just doesn't quite have that oppressiveness off stage that these characters do. Um, in certain situations, she can be very good off stage. But I find when I play against Puff that I'm getting around her edge guard attempts a lot. Um, and then, like, you can just kill her so early. You know, the projectiles can make it, even if they're bobbing and weaving through your shit, they're eventually going to get hit by something. Uh, I think it's a slight Young Link favor. I think Yink goes even with Bo Shotos. I think he goes even with Bo Shotos. Uh, tough matchups, though. Tough matchups for sure. Uh, their ability to... They have enough range to get in on you. Their damage output, their, like, up-close game is really, really strong. But Young Link's ability to camp them and, uh, you know, combo them really hard, I think keeps it even. Um, but shit, even Terry... Even Terry, I think, belongs here, too. I think these are really even matchups. I know I have a lot of even matchups on here already, but I think these are really even matchups. I'm curious what people on both sides think, though. Now, you know, if you're watching a YouTube video, be sure in the comments below to let me know what you think of any of these opinions. If you main one of these characters, uh, l let me know what your insight is on, on the matchup. Even if you disagree, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm more than willing to, to listen. Uh, you know, if you're in my chat right now on stream, too, then shit, let me know what you think. All right. DDD, I think DDD is super 6-4 Young Link. This matchup is tough for DDD, man. This matchup is super tough for DDD. Uh, Young Link just, like, Gordo is barely a factor against Young Link. It's really hard for him to get anything started with Gordos. Obviously, Young Link presses the fuck out of him in advantage state. Um, as well as, like, I mean, DDD has shit, right? But Young Link just doesn't really mind his air camping. You know, Young Link isn't going to have a problem with dealing with DDD landing on his shield with, with like, you know, Nair or whatever. Uh, Gordos just get shut down really hard. Uh, yeah, man, I think this is a really tough matchup for, for DDD. Is this an offline matchup chart? Yes, yes, uh, that's the goal. Some of my perspectives are going to be skewed slightly because of Wi-Fi, but, you know, I'm not going to call it necessarily a Wi-Fi matchup chart, but... It's basically just how I feel currently about each of the matchups. I mean, it's going to be skewed slightly because of Wi-Fi, but that's the case no matter what because some of these characters I'm only ever going to get to play on Wi-Fi, like, for the majority of my practice, so yeah. King K. Rule. I'm going to put this one in slight Young Link advantage. Um, before the buffs, I thought that this was 6-4, like, pretty free, but the, uh, the crown buff on K. Rule and the back throw buff are both really big deals for this matchup, especially the crown buff because... Before, it was like if DDD committed to throwing that crown, then you could just hit him with an arrow, you could get in on him, and that was that. Uh, now, you have to respect the crown throw so much that it makes the matchup a lot harder. Um, you know, this could be another one of my Wi-Fi skews, uh, but in my opinion, K. Rule, slight advantage. Uh, you know, Young Link, when he does his thing, can fuck this character up, but in bracket, you're a little bit nervous. The K. Rule player is doing his thing. You know, Nair off stage is godlike versus Young Link. His counter, too. Counter reflector is tough. You know, I think this matchup is uh, is, is slightly tough for Young Link, but, you know, still winning. Um, Kirby's going to go in not enough experience. I don't know. What the f I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I've ever played against a good Kirby in this game. I really have no idea what that matchup is like. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be really honest with you. Oh, wait. There's going to be... 
two more losing matchups. Maybe three at most. Maybe three at most. I forgot about. You know what? I might as well just... Actually, nah. Fuck it. We'll just keep going in order. Link. I used to put Link in slight disadvantage, but I think Link is even now. Um, I think I used to just, like, be too impatient against Link, but I realize now that this is just... It's an extremely even matchup because you both just have to respect each other's options a lot. A lot. Um, but, you know, I think both characters pretty much benefit from a lot of the same things. You know, if the Link gets too aggressive and overextends, then the Young Link can punish him big time. If the Young Link does the same thing, then, uh, you know, the Link can do that as well. Uh, I think it's a really even matchup, in my opinion. Link's range makes it a bit difficult for Yink. Yes, that's true, but Yink's speed can make it a little tough for, for, for Link to hit him as well. So, there's, a, there's some layers there, but I think this is a really even matchup. I don't really know. It's one of these two. It's one of these two. I'll put it in. I'll put it in six four, man. I'll put it in six four because, uh, because I think Young Link is just so good at camping out, little Mac. You just gotta camp him out, man. You just gotta camp him out. But I'm I'm tempted to lean towards. Uh, I'm tempted to lean towards fifty five forty five because he's Link or or little Mac when he gets up in your shit. He can give you some issues uh, as Young Link for sure. But I mean, if you're camping him out, you know, uh, it's easy to get rid of KO Punch as Young Link. You can literally just run away and throw shit until he gets hit by something. Um, you know, if you got platforms to camp on, you know, it, it's a tough ass matchup for, for Little Mac for sure. I mean, Mac sucks. He sucks. Doesn't mean that I'll never lose a game to a Little Mac or something, because I'm sure I will. But, because that's, that's Little Mac, you know what I mean? But still, the matchup I think is probably 6 4. Why are you thinking so hard versus Mac? I don't know, dude. I, I actually used to have a huge Little Mac problem at the beginning of this game, funny enough, because I didn't... It was it, it's more so a problem my play style of not... never being willing to camp people, which I've gotten a lot, a lot, a lot better at. But yeah. All right, Lucario. I'm going to put Lucario in 55-45. Uh, I just think Young Link does a really good job of, of, of not letting Lucario really get in, get shit started. Um... But at the same time, I mean, Lucario's got some shit. You know, he gets Aura going. You know, he can he can edge guard you pretty well. Uh, he, he can give you some trouble with, like, side B. Um, you know, I, I don't know this matchup super well, to be honest. I don't really know this matchup super well. If I played it more, maybe I'd put it in 6-4. But for right now, my initial feeling is that it, it's Young Link's favor. I'm going to put Lucas in slight advantage as well. Uh, Lucas can give you some issues, though, man. Lucas can give you some issues. Uh, the thing about Lucas, though, is that... Young Link is just can match his projectile game is faster than him um, Which are really the two big keys and can probably kill a little bit easier than Lucas, but PK fire does a really good job of, of disrupting your your projectile game um, You know Off stage Lucas can give you a lot of trouble. You know what fuck it. I'm putting this in even the more I think about it I think this matchup. Ah, I don't know man. It's tough to say bro. If the Lucas is really good at, if the Lucas is really good at edge guarding, man, it's so tough. PK Thunder with Lucas, dude, can can just give Young Link nightmares. Can super give Young Link night, night nightmares. Um, you know, Nair, Fair can do a good job of like clanking with projectiles and get through. I'm putting it in even, man. I'm putting it in even. I'm trusting my heart on this one. All right, Lucina. Okay, there, there's a, there's more losing matchups than I thought before. I'll put Lucina in 45-55 because I think Young Link does do well against her in neutral. Uh, you just gotta camp her really hard. You just gotta be running, play your runaway game. Um, once you do hit her though, you can make you can do a lot of damage for sure. Um, but you know, Lucina's range mixed with her edge guarding ability. I mean, especially the edge guarding ability. That's more important than anything else. I mean, she's just one of the best gimpers in the game for free. Um, her ledge trapping, it's super hard for Young Link to get off the ledge against her because he just doesn't have a really good range option to, to contest her range option. And, and then other than that, you know, it's just reaction game at that point. And uh, a lot of Lucinas are really fundamentally solid players, so they're good at reacting to shit. Um, but yeah, I, I think this one's slight losing for Young Link, but I'm tempted to put it in maybe 6-4. But it, it's a one of, the, one of the harder matchups. One of the harder matchups for sure. I'm gonna put Luigi in slight Young Link advantage. Young Link does a really good job of keeping Luigi out. 
Uh, it gives him a really hard time for him to set up his game. Um, does a good job of juggling him. You know, does a good job of, of holding stage control against him. Um, it can be slightly tricky against Luigi because down B out of combos and shit like that. But, you know, that's just what Luigi does. Overall, though, I think Young Link does really well. Mario. Even, but it's tough. Even, but it's tough, man. This is, this is, a, this is a tough tough matchup for Young Link, but I do think it's even. Just because I do think Young Link does a good job of, uh, of contesting Mario. Of outranging Mario. Of, you know, comboing him well. Of holding stage control against him, which obviously are, are all keys for Young Link's success. But Mario is a really good out of shield. Um, you know, he's good at he's pretty good at getting in against Young Link. Um, I think really one of the biggest I think really one of the biggest advantages for Young Link that keeps this matchup even is how good Young Link is out of shield. Uh, I think that's a big deal in this matchup because Mario has to get in on your shield and then up B and Nair are just so good at keeping people off of you. Um, and Mario is tall enough to get hit by back out of shield too, which is actually more important than you might think. Uh, but yeah, I, I think this is a tough matchup, but but it's 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 even in my opinion. You know, I'm just gonna put Marth in not enough experience to be completely honest, because I just don't really have any experience against Marth, so I I don't really know how the matchup compares to Lucina. You know, if I had to guess, um, it would be similar, but maybe slightly easier, just because Lucina's better. But I'm just gonna put Marth in not enough experience, because I really just have no no experience in that matchup to really know what to say. Uh, you know what I mean? I feel kind of weird separating them sometimes, but yeah. Mega Man, I'm gonna put Mega Man in slight Yink advantage. Uh, you know, if the Mega Man plays really well, this matchup could be close to even, in my opinion. But just based off of the tools that each character has to deal with the other, I think Young Link has a slight advantage. Um, mostly because not only do you have the projectile uh, advantage against uh, Mega Man, because Mega Man does have good projectiles, but I think Young Links are a little bit better. Um, not only do you have the projectile advantage, but the main key is that you have Nair. And Nair is extremely good against Mega Man. Um, it's kind of similar to like Fox vs. Mega Man in Smash 4 when I would play that matchup a lot, where Nair just does a good job of getting through pellets, you know, getting through Mega Man's shit and, and still being able to hit him. And then the combo game that Young Link has on Mega Man is ridiculous. Like, he punishes the fuck out of him. Um, Mega Man can do some work off stage. Leaf Shield can be good. You know, pellets can be good, but I think Young Link has a slight, slight advantage. Meta Knight, that's going to be another slight advantage for Yink, in my opinion. Meta Knight is very similar to Greninja in the way that they play neutral, where they're always looking for a dash attack or a dash grab to get things started. And like I've told you guys in the past, you know, Young Link is fast enough to not only run away from those, but also has a good enough out of shield to deal with those really effectively. Um... Young Link actually outranges Meta Knight in most cases, uh, which is which is tough for him to deal with. And yeah, I, th I think this is a slight advantage. Uh, Mewtwo is going to be a slight advantage as well. I think, uh, you know, this matchup is a little tougher than I thought it was at the beginning once I played against uh, Zenkai a lot and, and some of the better Mewtwo's. But um, overall, you know, the, the disparity in... in the, the Young Link's ability to combo Mewtwo and kill him borderline just that makes this matchup probably slight advantage uh you know Mewtwo's reflector you know down B uh shadow ball moves like that can definitely help him a lot but overall I just think Young Link just has the tools to be able to deal with that shit and then once Young Link gets his hands on Mewtwo I mean it's just it's just tough scenes from there oh man the Miis all right the Miis uh, Brawler is gonna go in not enough experience. I, no matter, I, I still don't know what the fuck that character does, to be honest. Gunner is gonna, I played against Gunner a lot, actually. I played against Gunner a lot. Uh, Gunner is gonna go... Hmm. This is a tough one. I mean, if they're using the best moveset against Young Link, in my opinion, which is the, um, the grenades, the... Uh, fuck, what is it? the missiles and the bombs? Then I think it's even. Um, because Gunner can contest with Young Link's uh, projectile game really well. And Gunner's Nair is a really, really strong move in that matchup that I don't think enough of them use. Uh, I think they try to zone out Young Link a little too hard. But I think of Gunner's being a little more aggressive with like Nairs, Fairs, and Bears. 
Uh, it can actually, they can give Young Link some trouble. Um, I'm tempted to put this one in slight advantage, but I'm going to keep it in even for now. That's, that's kind of what my intuition is telling me. Um, I do have a decent amount of uh, experience as well. Uh, Mewtwo big body and being light is a field day for Yank. Yes, absolutely. The the light factor, like Young Link already does well against big bodies, but add on lightness into that, and yeah, that, that's tough. Uh, Sword Fighter, I'm gonna put Sword Fighter in slight advantage. Just think Sword Fighter is a lot like Young Link, but everything that he tries to do, Young Link just does better um, and faster, and that's the main key is the faster part. Uh, it's tough for Sword Fighter to get in because Young Link's out of shield is so good. Um, as long as you're not falling for the disjoints and because his hitboxes can be a little tricky but yeah I, I think this is a slight advantage I think Min Min is even uh, I've leaned a couple different ways on this but that kind of tells me that even is probably the right call uh, the reason I think this is because Young Link does really really well against Young Link does really really well at hitting Min Min or at punishing Min Min for whiffing things, right? Min Min is a very punishable character. Young Link does a great job at that. And he combos the shit out of her. She's just like the perfect weight for combos. Um, she dies somewhat early, you know, not super early, but she's like a mid-weight. Uh, but when Min Min is gets the ball rolling, you know, literally, when Min Min gets the ball rolling. Uh, it, 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 the momentum is swinging in her favor, then she can just give Young Link a lot of problems. Um, you know, offstage is tough, uh, but I think the hardest thing is, is landing against Min Min, as Young Link is really, really hard, because if you try to force a landing, then you might just get popped by the big ball. Um, if you try to go to the ledge, you might just get hit by the spinny disc. You know, her nair is good, man. Her, out of, her up smash out of shield makes it hard for you to, like, really pressure her shield too much. Um, I, I think this one is, is even, in my opinion. <clears throat> Alright, Game & Watch. Now, Game & Watch is, is an interesting one, man. Game & Watch is an interesting one, man. Ah. How do I feel about this matchup? I... It's weird, right? Because I've played against Meister, and Meister makes me feel like it's a slightly losing matchup, but he's also a lot better than me as a player. You know, I've played against a lot of Game & Watches that are not as good as me, and that made me feel like, shit, Young Link does well. Um, which, once again, kind of makes me lean towards even, right? Uh, I think it, I think it could lean towards 45-55, but I'm going to give it the nod for even, mostly because they have very similar ranges. Uh, I think Young Link does a good job at uh, playing at, at Game & Watch's range. Both characters kind of play mid-range, and they both compete well. Uh, you know, Fair is really good against Game & Watch. I think the better I get, the more even this matchup will feel against, against especially Meister. Um, but, and Young Link is good at punishing Game & Watch's landings, and that can be probably the hardest part of the matchup for a lot of people, is because uh, Game & Watch can just land with down air on the other side of the stage. He can up B and then fly and go to down air, and it's like a lot of characters can't catch up. Young Link doesn't really have to catch up because he's got the projectile game. Uh, you know, Bucket is a is a factor, but it's not a huge factor. The reflector part is nice. Um, getting a bucketed bomb doesn't really make much of an impact. Uh, you know, you'll take some damage if you get hit by it, but it's never going to kill you or break your shield or anything like that. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to... I think I feel pretty confident at putting that one at even. And this is another even, man, but it's hard. It's hard. I, at times, I felt like this was a slight losing matchup, but I think it's an even matchup. You just got to play really campy as Young Link. That's the main thing. You just can't let Ness... Honestly, it's weird. I feel like both characters are pretty similar in how you have to play against them. Um, if Young Link plays really campy, it can be hard for Ness to ever really get in or get shit started against him. Uh, but at the same time, if Ness does get something started, he can go crazy. Uh, he can edge guard the fuck out of Young Link. Um, he can... You know, down smash at the ledge is actually really good against Young Link's up B, but apparently if you do hold down and get the right uh, disjoint angle on the up B, you can clank with the down smash, which is actually a pretty big discovery for the matchup because that was something that was really tough before. Um, I think it's an even, but, I, you know, it's tough, man. I think it's tough. Pac-Man's another one of those matchups where it's like, I don't know if this is slightly losing or I don't know if I'm just bad against Pac-Man. But I do know that Pac-Man has given me a lot of trouble. Um, I'm going to put it in even. Let me think about it. Let me think out loud a little bit, though. 
the hardest things about this matchup is, is Pac-Man's ability to set up walls against Young Link. Uh, walls that are tough for Young Link to get in on. And the reason why they're so tough for him to get on, in on is because Pac-Man also has really good aerials and good range. Uh, he slightly outranges Young Link in most cases um, with really good frame data as well. So he can make it uh, kind of a nightmare if Young Link is down. Um, however, I do think... I do think... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You know what, dude? You know what, man? I think... Uh, I think I'm gonna do this. I didn't know if I was gonna do this. Even slash slight disadvantage. I just think there's a few really tough calls that I I kind of want to have something right here. Like I just feel like it's worth it, man. I feel like there's enough tough calls that it could be worth it to have to have a couple of characters in this row. Um, is there anyone else that I would move here? Maybe Mario? Maybe Mario? Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put Mario there as well. That's... that's... Joker? Yeah, you know what? I'll put Joker... I'll put Joker there as well. This is a slight disadvantage. This is a slight disadvantage. Um, it, it could possibly be in this tier right here. Uh, I think as the meta has progressed, I've started feeling more and more that way. But Paulo's ability to edge guard, um, her shield especially. I mean, dash attack. Dash attack alone makes that matchup really tough. Because she is one of the best characters at punishing Young Link's landings. I mean, that's what Paulo does best. Dash attack is just an elite move. But against Young Link especially, it's just super tough, man. Um, you know, she combos him well. Uh, up air, being as disjointed as it is. Really good at juggling. And like I've said before, juggling gives Young Link trouble. Um, you know, her speed. Uh, I, I think this is a slight disadvantage. Pichu in 2020... Is even. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think Pichu in 2020 is even. I used to think this matchup was, was a little tougher, but... Um, and I've leaned towards maybe it even being slight Young Link favor. But I think it's probably even. Um... You know, Young Link does really good against small characters because he's small himself and has those hitboxes like Nair. Um, and his out of shield game is really good against Pichu, which is important because Pichu needs to get in on your shield. Um, but Pichu's ability to, to put you off stage and kill you is just, you know, he's one of the best in the game at that. Uh, I, I think that that alone kind of like keeps this in, uh, I think that alone kind of keeps this in even territory. Put Piranha Plant in, s put plant in slight advantage. I guess, you know, I don't really have like a lot of concrete thoughts on this matchup, but I do know that Young Link, I mean, it's tough for Plant to avoid Young Link's projectiles and Young Link does fuck him up pretty hard when he gets his hands on him. Uh, you know, Spike Ball can give you some trouble off stage. Uh, you know, Prana Plant could do some work off stage. So that kind of, you know, makes it a little tougher. But in general, I do think that this matchup is probably slight Young Link favor. Pokemon Trainer, slight Young Link favor in my opinion. Another one of his best top tier matchups, which is really, really important. Uh, this matchup, you know, Young Link does really well against Squirtle. For a lot of the same reasons as he does well against Pichu. Mostly the fact that it's a small character, he fights him out of shield well. Squirtle can have trouble getting in uh, against projectiles. Ivysaur, Young Link. Young Link Ivysaur is really even, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's really even or maybe slight Young Link favor just because Young Link is so much faster. I mean, Ivy has more range though. And then Razor Leaf and Fire Arrow are kind of, they kind of know each other out. Um, and then with uh, with Charizard, I, I think Charizard gives Young Link the most trouble in practice. But, you know, in principle, I think it's, I think, I think that matchup's probably even too. Um, Charizard is, is it, the main reason why Charizard does better than most other heavies is because he's fast. Uh, Bowser kind of has a similar uh, way with Young Link. But, you know, if Young Link is playing well and fucking Charizard up, he can basically make it really hard for him to play the game. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts on that. Ah, uh, Richter is weird, man. Richter is weird. Tempted to put it at even, maybe slight Young Link favor. Um, let me think about this a little bit. See, now, I think...
Is it normal for a majority of the matchups that someone does in a matchup chart to be even? Is that normal? I don't know if that's normal or not. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm gonna put Richter in even, man. I think Richter's range and his kind of in his ledge trapping against Young Link, and I think Young Link does struggle against the ledge trappers like Robin and, and Ness and shit like that. The the lingering hitbox ledge trappers because he doesn't really have great options to deal with those. Um, and then mix that with Richter's range. And his own projectile game, I think Young Link's projectile game is better than Richter's, but just the fact that he has one to contest with is, is good. Um, I'm going to put this one in even. It's weird, right? I've played against Ridley's that made me feel like it was slight advantage due to Ridley's range um, and, and kill power, but mostly his range. I'm, I'm going to leave Rid Ridley in 6-4. I mean, I just think Young Link is too good at uh, being hard for him to catch and then just... I don't know if there's a character in this game that gets comboed harder than Ridley by Young Link, to be honest. I mean, Ridley's disadvantage against Young Link is probably just too bad. It's just too bad for it to not be 6... For it to not be 6-4. All right, Robert. It's time for the Rob Rob. All right, I think Rob is probably slight disadvantage... No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was for Gabe. I'm gonna put Rob at, Rob at 55-45. So, obviously now the Rob means... Especially Epic Gabriel think that this matchup is just fucking garbage trash for Rob and it's just so unwinnable blah 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 um, Even though the fact that you know, I think if you looked at the results that it's it's pretty damn close to even in terms of who beats who uh, Now obviously Gabe would say that oh, that's just you know us being better than the young link players And I mean there is some truth to that for sure, but at the same time I have a lot of thoughts on this matchup um now, I do think it is slight Young Link favor because I think Young Link does a really good job at stuffing Rob out of, of putting him in, like, infinite disadvantage, of comboing him really well, of having projectiles to just always be throwing in his face. Um, you know, Young Link does a good job at mashing on Rob. But I will say this. Rob's projectile game, his neutral B and his, and his gyro are really good against Young Link. Neutral B eats arrows and boomerangs, stops them in their track, lasts forever, right? And then also, you know, combos into zero to deaths, huge combo strings, you know, ledge traps. Gyro is one of the best projectiles in the entire game. Uh, and then Neutral B is really good at shutting down Young Link from, from trying to mash. Uh, you know, it will catch you mashing. If you're already starting to shoot an arrow and he does Neutral B, you're going to get hit by it. And if it's the fully charged one, which recharges really fast, it's going to do, like, what? What does it do? Like, 15, 20%, maybe even more? Um, Rob's Nair. Rob's Nair. Now, I think a lot of times, Rob's Nair is, uh, they, offline, it's a lot easier to punish. Online, it's really tough. But, you know, if, if Young Link does shield Rob's Nair and they don't space it perfectly, or especially if you parry it, then you can fuck him up for it really hard. But, I mean, he always, he has infinite mix-ups with that. You know, he has really fucking good range with his fair. His back air, his back air is gigantic and kills Young Link mad early. That move is so goddamn strong. Side B, uh, you know, side B, Gabe loves that move. He loves to spam that shit. If, like, let's say, for example, like, let's say you shoot an arrow and then Rob just does, like, a randy side B, and, you know, like, at the ledge or whatever... And it's just going to reflect your arrow, and you're probably going to just get hit and die. Um, you know, Rob does a good job of, a pretty good job of edgeguarding Young Link. Uh, you know, Rob's recovery, I mean, there's not much Young Link can really do. Even if you're hitting him with bombs or cutting off angles, he just always has more angles. Uh, you know, up air is really good at juggling Young Link. Um, overall, I still think this is a slight advantage for Yink, but I don't think this matchup is nearly as bad as the propaganda from fucking Gabe. You know, I, I get why he feels the way he feels, kind of, but uh, the majority of Young Links I've talked to, especially Toast, I mean, me and Toast have talked about this a lot, and we do not feel like that is some trash matchup for Rob. So, uh, yeah, slight advantage. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to put Robin in slight advantage as well. Um, I think uh, I'm so confused as to how Ike is even while Corrin is losing. Okay, I can tell you. It's mostly because um, Corrin has more versatile options in neutral like she has more options to uh to deal with to like outrange young link whereas um ike practically only has fair i mean he or nair he can do fair and fair did get buffed so it's a little bit better which is nice for him um but his his frame data 
and his aerial speed, I don't know if he's actually at, he probably is as fast as Corrin, but Corrin just has more options to get in on Young Link and keep him out and juggle him. Uh, well, I don't know. Their juggling game is somewhat similar. It's a little bit different, but it's it's similar levels of hard. But I just think Corrin is better at dealing with Young Link's kit than Ike is. That's how I feel. Um, Robin. Robin is, I think, slightly winning because uh, Young Link's projectiles do a really good job of zoning her out. Um, it's really tough for her to get much started when you're kind of spamming and camping her. Um, but... When she does touch you, it can be really tough, man. Arc Fire is a really good move against Young Link. You know, it sets up that wall that uh, clanks with, with projectiles. And if you get caught by it at the ledge especially, I mean, you just get fucking bodied. Uh, you know, her her range, her, her aerials are strong. And they they have good range. And, uh, you know, they can do a lot of damage to Young Link in a juggle situation. Um, off stage, she can do some work against Young Link as well. Uh, you know, I think this matchup is... is, is Kind of tough, but I still think it's slight Young Link favor. I, he's slightly slower, but he hits like a truck. But I guess I can see that. Yeah, I mean, my biggest issue, or my biggest difference is definitely the fact that I just feel like Ike has a harder time dealing with Young Link shit than Corrin does. I think this is a really even matchup. I think it's a really even matchup. Uh, basically, Rosa is pretty good at dealing with projectiles, but the projectiles that do hit do a lot. Uh, definitely to Luma, definitely just to Rosa herself. She gets eaten alive by Young Link's combos, but it is really tough to get in on her. You know, I played this matchup with the Buzz a couple games in tournament like a few days ago, and both games kind of spoke for themselves. They were extremely even, and I just think this is a really even matchup overall. I think this is 55-45 Young Link favor. Uh, the, the difference in kill potential and damage output alone make this Young Link favor, but Sheik actually does do a pretty good job in neutral against Young Link. Um, you know, Fair is very oppressive. She can oppress Young Link in neutral pretty well. Needles can do a good job of keeping him out. But the kill, the, the, the kill potential, and I think especially the damage output, uh, just put this one in Young Link's favor. Um, Shulk. Time to go up, boys. Shulk is, uh, is, probably, is probably the last 6-4 here. Um, Shulk and Cloud, in my opinion, are Young Link's two, two hardest matchups. Uh, Shulk's range mixed with his ability to either, you know, to, to be one of the fastest characters in the game Mixed with his ability to shield through your combos and most of Young Link's combos are multi-hits uh, Mixed with his ability to edge guard the shit out of you with Smash Monado uh, Yeah, man, this matchup is really 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 tough any Young Links that have played against good Shulks will tell you This matchup is really fucking tough um, I personally play Roy for this matchup. I find that to be much easier. I play Roy for all three of these matchups, actually. So, yeah. Those are, uh, I mean, that one, I don't need to explain that one too much, I don't think. All right, Snake. Slight Young Link favor. Another one of, uh, another top tier matchup that I think Young Link wins. Um, now, this matchup can be a little bit tough, man. This matchup can be a little bit tough. I think, uh, I think... You know, la in last hit situations, Snake does well against Young Link. And Nikita is also very good at edge guarding Young Link. Um, a lot of the better snakes have gotten really good at angling it so that it doesn't clank with Young Link's up B. However, Young Link's combo game against Snake, Young Link's projectile pressure, especially the projectile pressure, Arrow is, is kind of a nightmare for Snake. Uh, really, really tough for him to get in because he doesn't really have the ability to get in through the air well. Um, and then on the ground, it's like if he gets caught pulling grenades, if he's stuck in a corner, he's just going to get pressed there for a long time. Uh, Young Link has the ability to gimp snakes up B really well if he goes low with down air. Um, you know, I, I, I think this is definitely one of Young Link's best uh, top tier matchups for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't really know if there's much else I need to say. Um, that, that, I think that kind of describes it, describes it pretty well. Describes it pretty well. Young Link outplays Snake um, from a distance, 100%, and I think they go pretty even up close, but it might be slight Young Link favor. Uh, so yeah, that explains that. Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm gonna put this one in even for now. I don't know exactly how I feel about this matchup yet. Uh, I think it'll change over time as I get more experience against the top Sonics, but... Uh, I think Young Link does a good job in neutral against Sonic. He can stuff out Spin Dash really well. 
um, holding bomb in your hands while he homing attacks you. So even if you miss the spot dodge, you're usually able to still punish his uh, escape option. Is really really nice. Um, though at the same time, Sonic is really good at, at edge guarding Young Link, um, and the really good Sonic players can show this matchup. Uh, show that this matchup is tough. Uh, if you look at Toast versus Wrath, I mean, Wrath is a god at that matchup, and he, he dissected Toast really well. I personally never played against Wrath, so maybe if I have, I would I would think a little bit differently. But for now, I think this matchup is probably even. I think Toon Link and Link are pretty similar. I think both these matchups are, are even. You know, I think they kind of, like, just kind of like Link, I mean, they play similar games. Um, but Toon Link is, is good at keeping Young Link out, which is pretty important. Uh, you know, that's what Toon Link does, and he does it well against Young Link. Uh, and, the, and the main key of that is that it's hard for Young Link to be close enough for to, to Toon Link to be able to get big combos on him. A lot of times you end up playing like a chip damage, like projectile war. Um, I think Young Link does kind of slightly win the projectile war because of his arrows especially. Um, but overall, I do think this matchup is, is probably even from my experience. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that one. That one I'm not 100% sure on yet. Villager... I'm also gonna I'm gonna put Villager next to Isabel. But yeah, I played kept at the pre-frostbite local, and he really opened my eyes to uh, how tough that matchup can be for Young Link. Um, you know, the ability to pocket, the uh, you know back air, forward air, nair, up air, down air, all do a good job of, of outranging Young Link slightly and, and keeping him out. Um, and then off stage, I mean, kept was better at this than any other Villager player I've ever fought before. But off stage. It, Villager can give Young Link a lot of problems, um, but overall, though, I do think just with like based on their toolkit, I do think that uh, you know it's probably even, but it's a little tougher than you might expect. All right, Wario. Uh, Wario is another even one to me. Another even one to me. It's funny. I know Tweak used to think that this matchup was like shit for Wario. Um, I disagree. Uh, I think Wario's aerial speed. And his uh, lingering hitboxes and his range kind of shut down Young Link's projectile game pretty nicely. Um, and it can be pretty... Uh, Young Link can't really touch him off stage too much. But Young Link does uh, have a really good out, out of shield game against Wario. So if you're kind of baiting those approaches, you can punish him really hard. Um, what else? What else? Uh, I, I just think this is a really even matchup, you know. I mean, Wario has the X factor of the Waft, which always makes the matchup tough. I mean, every everybody uh, Waft is good against everybody, um, but Young Link's projectile game—if you are able to, to zone Wario out, and especially if you are able to get a lead against Wario—it can be really, really, really tough uh, to get in on him, uh, for sure. For sure, I think it's an even matchup, though. All right, um, Ledge Plank Trainer. Uh, Ledge Plank Trainer goes... Um... I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say even for this one as well? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say even for this one as well. Young Link doesn't mind her, her stalling games too much, but the main thing that makes this matchup uh, a little tough for Young Link is definitely Wii Fit's out of shield game is really good against him. One of the few characters that can consistently punish Young Link's cross-ups on shield. Uh, her back air is really, really good at that. Um, deep breathing causes issues, uh, for sure. You know, her edge guarding is nice, man. Um, her combo game, like her damage output and combo game can kind of rival Young Link. Um, but I do think that his neutral is just a lot better than hers. Um, but with all those things, you know, taken into account, I think it's even. Slightly leaning towards uh, maybe slight advantage, but I'm gonna go even for now. I think Wolf is a 45-55 as well. I'll go ahead and put him next to Fox because it's they're pretty similar matchups. Um, Wolf's saving grace against Young Link is the laser. Laser is very good against Young Link. Um, if you are a Young Link main playing against Wolf, the key is to not be getting hit by lasers. Uh, you really want to play slow and bait and punish and take your moments when you get them in this matchup. Um, I used to think that this was 6-4, but I don't think it's as bad anymore because Young Link's out of shield against Wolf is very, very good. Um, his range face to face with Wolf is not bad. I mean, Wolf's Nair gives him a lot of problems, don't get me wrong, but that's one of those moves that you kind of have to feel out that they're going to go for and, and bait and punish it. Um, your, your movement is very important in this matchup. I think back air is good against Wolf. I think you ledge trap him well. Uh, shit, you can even edge guard him pretty well um, using bombs. And. Uh, 
Wolf's juggling ability is good against Young Link, but it's nothing too crazy. You know, I think this is a slight disadvantage matchup. Um, it, it's definitely a tough one, but if you play this very well, then it's not terrible. It's not terrible. All right, Young Link versus Yoshi. I think Young Link wins this one slightly. Um, Young Link, Yoshi's biggest problem is getting his landings punished. And Yoshi mains have the absolutely terrible habit of always trying to land on you because they have that double jump armor. That's how they get a lot of their openings. But Young Link just kind of says fuck that, runs away and throws a boomerang and then probably combos them for that. Um, you know, I think there is some saving graces for Yoshi in this matchup, so it, it's not terrible. Uh, like, like his ability to edge guard, you know, his nair is very good. Um, you know, it can be hard for Young Link to punish some of his shit on shield, but at the end of the day, mostly it's... Your mix-ups between having boomerang, arrow, and grab, all at that distance that Yoshi constantly tries to land. Um, I, I think uh, I think Young Link wins this matchup. <laughs> Sharp says Sheik in plus one. It's minus five for Sheik. Yeah, I mean, I know why you guys think that for sure, but my experience playing against Void really... I mean, Void is a lot better of a player than me, but Void's oppressiveness, I think works really well in that matchup um i think online i mean online this is this is definitely 6-4 right but offline i think it, it, it actually has the potential to be like slight winning for young link uh you know the difference in damage output and, and kill power is, is crazy but you know sheik's oppressiveness if you it's if you play perfectly you know i, I think it can be 55 45 <clears throat> all right zelda Zelda, I think, is even, but I fucking suck in this matchup. <laughs> I, the, I think the consensus of the really good Young Links is that this matchup is even. But in my opinion, I've always struggled with this shit a lot. Um, maybe it's because most... Uh, actually, every single Zelda I've ever played against has been online. I've never played against a Zelda offline one time. But, oh my god, she can give me... She gives me a fucking headache, dude. Um, up B, neutral B, down B, shit, side B... All, I don't really have much to say about this. I, I do think this is not like a losing matchup, but it is annoying as hell. All right, boys. Here we go. The last matchup, ZSS. I think ZSS is even. I think it's even. She's really fast, really fast in the air, and uh, doesn't struggle and disadvantage too much against Young Link, which is, uh, you know, a really good trait to have against him because a lot of characters do get get fucking, you know punished really hard by him she doesn't have to worry about that too much but she is light and uh you know she doesn't have a ton of neutral tools which can make her pretty predictable uh so i, I think this matchup is really even honestly um you know both have a really good out of shield game you know hers obviously is deadly for killing uh you know her her flip kick can catch young link like trying to be a spammer uh you know autopiloting um, but also he he can catch her in the air well, you know, he can He can just contend with her in neutral really well. I think it's I think it's a super even matchup. I think it's a super even matchup, man All right boys, I think that's it man. I think that's it. All right boys. Here we go This is my updated matchup chart as of August 29 or 20 as of August 29th 2020 I don't know how long that took to do. It had to have taken at least an hour, maybe even more. That took a long time. Holy hell. Every matchup chart is just going to keep getting longer and longer too because as the meta progresses, things are going to change. There's going to be new characters. It's just constantly going to be changing and evolving. But, you know, I appreciate you guys for getting me to 350 subs today. Um, I hope this was educational for some of you guys out there. Uh, you know, if you're watching the YouTube version of this, man, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave a link to the uh, picture or, like, a tweet that I'll probably make with this matchup chart. Um, so you can you can have it saved that way. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video. Make sure to comment on the video. Let me know what you thought. You know, give me your, your thoughts on, uh, on, on your character's placement in this matchup chart. Or if you're a Young Link main, what you thought. Or overall, just, you know, thoughts on the video. Stuff like that. Appreciate you guys as always, man. Make sure to have a great day. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.